Welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I am Wolfgang and my gift to you today is this guided meditation where we will be uh, dealing with the root causes of our inner conflicts from this and past lifetimes. Of course having inner conflict wastes a lot of time and energy compared to having aspects of yourself working together in synergy with each other. And um, for the guided meditation only, um, you may jump to this time, uh, but first some more mental framework and garnish to keep your intellect satisfied. So to the mystic, you know, the outer world is a uh, reflection of the inner world, you know, so as above, so below. For example, astrology means the position of the planet affects the inner world, you know, in your psychological states and drives, but also the world of politics, you know, and other events. And the sincere mystic um, takes the outer events you know, of his life as the, the tip of the iceberg, you know, and starts digging in his own self for the root causes, you know, of, let's say, in our case, the inner conflicts. And let's face it, you know, we have different factions in ourselves, you know. Some of us, you know, want that sterling body, and some of us love to raid the fridge, you know, till we all bloated. And uh, that bell has been going on for a while on all kinds of platforms. So, now in the external world, you know, the latest war in the Holy Land, you know, goes, of course, way back, you know, to big, big good times, you know, with Abraham and his sons. Or, you know, when whole cities, you know, and populations got genocided with the help of superior technology, I might point out. So, this karma and kind of spells and curses and vengeful ghosts, you know, for example, still echo through the halls of time. The persecutors may become the persecuted in the next life. The Nazi prison guard that got cursed in the extermination camps may be stuck in a refugee camp too in this lifetime as a victim. Innocent, you know, or not, may be the judged or may be judged, you know, by their past life performance and not you know, by us in this lifetime. Also, not everything is karma. You know, there are souls that volunteered, you know, to play the role of the victim for similar reasons. And, you know, um, you, you know, for the similar reason as you decide, you know, to watch a horror movie. So don't say, you know, that everybody in a refugee camp, you know, had it coming karmically. Nope. Not everybody there, you know. Of course, when we and our loved ones are violated, you know, we vow revenge, you know. But revenge is a bitch, you know. It keeps you stuck and entangled with those that you hate the most, you know. Lifetime after lifetime, till there is forgiveness, you know. Even as family members, you know. Not just as the others across the board. I mean, really, karma rubs your nose into it, you know. And I've, I know this from so many past life regressions on myself and others. And all of my clients know, you know, that this understanding is definitely coming from personal experiences, right? And um, <clears throat> so, of course, you know, there is this topic of conflict resolution through revenge. You know? And, of course, in our culture, you know, especially the military-industrial complex that finances many action movies, you know, is um, uh, all for 
conflict resolution, you know, through revenge, it seems. You know, there's a whole genre called revenge action, and this is here the common plot line. You know, army trained man to be badass killer. You know, uh, but that's all over now. You know, he and his soccer mom wife, you know, uh, into heavy householder bliss, you know. And then, of course, some unfortunate predator, badass gang of thugs do something really bad to his beloved ones. Now here comes to, you know, that justifies revenge. And our hero turns, you know, his minivan into a killing machine and starts applying, you know, his life-taking skills, you know, courtesy of Uncle Jam, uh, Sam, you know. And then we watch for the rest of the movie, you know, how countless evil security guard, you know, gets just mowed down, you know, or killed, you know, with slick martial art moves, you know, or, you know, guns that, uh, you know, never run out of ammo, you know, and they only run out of ammo, you know, to create an edge of the seed drama. So, uh, you know, killing was never so easy and guilt-free in those movies, you know, because, well, it was justified. You know, after all, they harmed your family. Guilt-free violence. Ha! You know, finally, you can let your inner hog out, you know, while identifying with the hero. You know what I mean? So, the kicker is, you know, that we all have family and that the freedom fighter, you know, or terrorist is defined by the side of the border from which you judge, you know. And, of course, everybody thinks that their revenge is justified. So, and of course, now we come into the topic of forgiveness versus revenge. And, you know, this is practically really, really important. I'm dealing with this all the time in my sessions. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important that you understand this. So, I mean, in most, first of all, decent spiritual systems, you know, forgiveness is a key element, you know, of purification. You know? And forgiveness does not mean that that what was done, you know, the injustice was right or goes unpunished. Forgiveness means that you give the revenge, you know, or retribution to the laws of karma, to divine justice, to God, to source. You know? No personal revenge. That's the idea. If you want personal revenge, you know, your curses, this person will be in the future in your life as a family member or a lover or your boss you know or the guy that rapes you and gets caught you know or your child that has a, you know some kind of a problem you know in that way you can witness the results of your curses you know without having the pleasure of knowing what you are paying for though that's the bummer <laughs> Also, you know, the abused past life aspect, you know, of you that want revenge are vibrationally, you know, too heavy to make it into the higher vibration, you know, to the heavens, you may say. You know, it's too much anger or guilt, you know, or feeling of revenge. You know, it's, it's heavy vibration. It's not love, joy, forgiveness, you know. So you're staying in the lower vibration and this are called ghosts. You know? So through forgiveness, you know, and source love and your love, you know, these ghosts can be brought to the heavens. You know, I mean, it's mostly, of course, angelic help, you know, higher beings help, you know, and the karma and the damage, you know, can be cleared too, you know, and we, we will try to do as much as possible, you know, in the following guided meditation again at this time. So, you know, the outer world is a reflection of the inner world, and in this video, we will focus on the inner aspect. If you want to contribute, you know, in mitigating the suffering 
of the external was, you know, please use this guided meditation here. So, you know, it is a good time, you know, to clear now your own inner conflicts, you know, that go way back, you know, on two levels. So, first of all, um, the karmic conflicts with so-called others from our own past life history and that of our ancestors too, you know. And uh, let's call those, um, you know, the others, the enemy disconnects. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then there are conflicts, you know, within ourself, you know, the so-called Mr. Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. <laughs> And especially the Geminis, you know, they are, they suffer from this. So, you know, um, are there any telltale signs, you know, about, you know, our inner war? You know? Well, in extreme cases, sure. You know, um, uh, I will, let's call this disharmonious face. So we have, let's say, a left side of the face, which is your female side. There's a right side of your face, which is the male side. And sometimes, you know, you see great differences, you know, in the face. Um, for instance, you know, uh, my right side lips are more voluptuous. You know, it's my female side is, uh, you know, um, quite sensuous. And uh, my um, left side is a more skinny lip. You know, the male is more like a, let's say, you know, tough guy. You know, the bodyguard, so to say. You know, and but if this uh, discrepancy, you know, is too much, you know, um, it's not pretty anymore, so to say. Um, you know, that's why, um, you know, one of the signs of beauty is like symmetry. Um, but, um, you know, for instance, you could be, you know, smiling, you know, on the male side, you know, and frowning on the female side. You know, so there would be, let's say, um, you know, a disharmony between you know, your male thinking, your linear thinking, you know, and your emotions. You know, your emotion thinks, you know, this sucks, and your, you know, mind thinks, your, you know, thought thinks, yeah, this is funny. Yeah, so, um, this is, um, of course, um, you know, this disharmonious face, you know, it can be distorted quite a lot. It's not just only the left and right side. And... Um, you know, they're always like a danger sign. Um, <clears throat> um, but that's just like, you know, an external thing. You know, and um, not such a great indicator for disharmony. Um, maybe another, um, you know, telltale sign of inner disharmony, means inner fights, is when you have this anger fault, you know, here between your eyebrows. You know, people that, you know, are always kind of annoyed, you know, like this, as if the sun is shining, you know, into their eyes. I mean, yeah, there's some, you know, there's resistance going on. You know, this could be also from internal, you know, disharmony, you know, too many <laughs> voices in the head. And, <laughs> of course, you know, if we can get our opposing sides to negotiate, you know, and find a common ground and synergy, that is, you know, a good thing. Um, but most of the time, you know, there are all kinds of factors, you know, that are from the woo-woo side, and we will be getting into this. Yeah. And um, also, you know, first of all, thank you all for giving me thumbs up and sharing this video, you know, and your experiences with us. And if you're new to this channel, you know, please make sure you describe, subscribe, you know, and ring the bell so that you get notified by my new releases. I also do um, personal Skype and Zoom sessions, you know, for those that are interested. And I mean, no driving now, we're getting into the guided meditation and um, definitely no driving. You're going to be spacing out so much, you know, do something else. And... You know, for those that are, you know, going for the meditation, um, some of you can keep their eyes open and maybe even use a pendulum and pause, um, you know, the video after the induction, you know, and deal with every, um, you know, question and the issues there separately. Um, 
or you can just go with the flow you know and just you know listen to your own inner responses and get an idea you know get an overview of what's happening you know where um, you know your resistances are in your life you know this helps in this video is surely not clearing all of your problems you know that would definitely be very strange um but it you know can help to a, quite a great degree and point you in the right direction where more work has to be done Mm -hmm. And um, some of you um, might just, you know, go to sleep during the uh, video, you know, which is perfectly fine. You know, um, the video will relax you and, you know, you put your mindset into this and uh, you will get benefits. Maybe not such much benefits as if you really heavy breathing and doing big aims, you know. <laughs> but it will be better uh, than no video at all, you know. And some of you, uh, you know, you can right-click the video and put it onto loop and have it run throughout the night. You know, of course, not full blast. And it will definitely also affect your subconscious. All right. So first of all, um, you know, we asked that everything that happens in and from listening to this recording and through this recording is going to be for the highest good. In divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um, make sure you agree. Mm -hmm. And he also asked, you know, that we have the maximum amount of benefit from this meditation. You know, we're given source and our spirit guides of love and light permission to assist us, you know, and to integrate this into our subconscious and conscious. Um, 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 mm -hmm. And of course, we also ask for complete protection against any negative manipulation or, um, you know, outside influences. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ask the high self to make sure that only those things, you know, that resonate with us, you know, be accepted and everything, you know, forgotten or discarded. Um, Alright. Now... You know, with your eyes closed, smile and imagine with a deep inhale, pulling the love from the Earth Goddess into your heart. And on the exhale, you send your love to her all the way out with your breath, very deep smile. And then again on the inhale, you pull her love into yourself. And keep going back and forth. And we asked our spirit guides and Mother Gaia to clear any resistances that are there between us and her. This could be misconduct from this or other lifetimes, from ourselves or our ancestors, any offenses, you know, whatever it is we like to have cleared now. We apologize as much as possible right now. Amen. And keep on breathing. And you must do, you know, agree to the Amen. Think Amen or not your head. You know, this is very important. This is a free will thing. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your guru. Mm, it's on you. <laughs> Back and forth. And again, we ask for another cleansing of our own grounding cords. Mm -hmm. Please clear any black magic from their spells, curses, even vows not to be here anymore. Also any trauma, let's say from breaking your legs in this and past lifetimes. Or, you know, shackles and you know, other things, wings that have been put there in a physical or in an astral way. Um, And, yeah, now you should start feeling a lot lighter. And smile and put your tongue to the palate and imagine that you're pulling the love from Milky Way Galaxy through your crown into your whole body. First of all, down the spine, but also into your arms. 
into your fingertips, into your palms, into your heels, into your toes, you know, your whole body, pull it in. And on the exhale, you know, pull your love up and just imagine that Milky Way galaxy is, is at the ceiling, actually on the astral plane. Distance doesn't matter that much. Back and forth, and again we ask the spirit guides and the angelic beings to clear any resistances that are there in our celestial chakras, our celestial energy centers. And anything like reverse crown, crown of thorn, implants, skull caps, plates, rings, and other devices, also trauma, you know, getting your head bashed in, neck breaking, you know, stuff like this. Please clear as much as possible for all the different lifetimes that it can be done right now. Amen, amen, amen. Make sure again that you give permission, it's your life. And it takes about five seconds for it to kick in. This would be about now. So you're feeling lighter, kind of a burst, an upflow of energy if you're sitting up. Alright, and so really smile and you know, pull this love from the you know, Milky Way galaxy, this huge, large, benevolent being into your whole body and send your love. We are not worshipping, we are having proper communion, a loving exchange. Back and forth. Hmm. And now, um, you know, we should be balanced, so we pull in the love from the heavens as well as from the earth, simultaneously into our heart. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, the more we pull this in, you know, the lighter we become. You know, we, every time you inhale it, you feel lighter, you know, more full of light, but also physically lighter. And you seem to be expand. You expand more and more and more. With every inhale, you know, you seem to be relaxing and expanding three times. And it feels so good. You smile and the breathing just goes automatically. And of course, we give our spirit guides permission to clear, you know, any blocks that prevent us from deeper breathing. You know, like trauma from drowning or in smoke inhalations in other lifetimes. Please clear this now. Um, 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 um. Mm -hmm. And um, you know this feels so beautiful as you inhale this love and you start floating higher and higher in your consciousness. Mm -hmm. And we ask that you now become aware of your highest spiritual self that you can become aware of now. For some that's the female high self, for some that's the male high self, for some it's the more androgynous Christus self, you know, just bright light kind of a thingy. Okay. Oh, just an inner knowing, we give permission now. Um, so we will be asking a lot of questions and so, you know, many of you can see things and get a thumbs up or down, but yes and now some of you hear things, you know, so you may also get straight talk. And um, for some of you, um, you know, you think you may be making it up. So a nice way of you know, getting pretty reliable information for many when you're in a higher state of consciousness is a yes. It's a flow of chi or energy from the heart to the head. It feels like this. Mm 
and to know is the flow of chi from the heart to the floor it feels like this it's kind of like a downer mm -hmm. now we asked your high self to show you a strong clear yes now amen And please show us a nice, clean no. Amen. All right, let's get to it. Do you have a considerable amount of conflict, you know, around love and partners with yourself? Yes or no? Is this mostly to two ghostly attachments? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to personal harm? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ancestors' karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to spells and curses? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to conflicting vows? Yes or no? And now we give the permission to our high self and our spirit guides you know, to please clear as much of this karma, of these samskaras, you know, whatever it is. You know, um, without us having to look at the details right now. Um, make sure you agree. And, you know, right now you're feeling a shift of energy. This is due to your intent. It's being enacted on the astral plane. Now. Next question about conflict around family life. Do you have a significant amount of conflict around family life? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ghostly attachments? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to personal karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ancestors karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to spells and curses? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to vows? Yes or no? And of course, you know, by the strength, you know, of the yes or no, you can probably discern and discriminate, you know, how strong these things are in your life. I would definitely pay attention to this. Is there any conflict in your life around sexuality? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ghostly attachment? Yes or no?
Is this mostly due to personal karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ancestors' karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to spells and curses? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to vows? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to volunteering for a lesson? Yes or no? And of course, we asked the spirit guides, you know, to clear also those issues right now as much as possible or to give us clarity about them, you know, without us having to look at the details right now. Amen, amen. Um, make sure you agree again. Do we have major conflict around money in our life? Yes or no? Is this due to um, learning lessons, you know, wanting to volunteer for a lesson? Yes or no? Is this due to mostly ghostly attachments? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to personal karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ancestors karma? Yes or no? Is this conflict mostly due to spells and curses? Yes or no? Is this conflict mostly due to vows? Yes or no? Do you have major conflict around your career in your life? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to volunteered lessons for this lifetime? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ghostly attachments? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to personal karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to ancestors karma? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to spells and curses and black magic? Yes or no? Is this mostly due to vows? Yes or no? Let's ask about conflict around your dreams, you know, in life. Like for instance, you know, you always wanted to be a ballerina, 
but now you are a bouncer at a biker bar. You know? So you have conflicting dreams here. So, you know this conflict in your dreams, in your goals in life? This is due to lessons that you volunteered for in this lifetime, yes or no? Or is this mostly due to ghostly attachments, yes or no? Or is this conflict due to personal karma? Yes or no? Or is this mostly due to ancestors karma? Yes or no? Or is this mostly due to spells and curses? Yes or no? Or is this conflict mostly due to vows? No. Um, disharmonious vows, conflicting vows? Yes or no? Many of you, um, you know, having religious conflict in their life, you know, Muslim father, let's say Hindu mother, <laughs> you know, or Christian mother, you know, um, there are a lot of mixes I've seen with my client, and uh, sometimes there's conflict due to fanaticism. Mm -hmm. So first of all, is there a lot of conflict, you know, around religion in your life? Yes or no? And is this conflict due to lessons that you volunteered for? Yes or no? Or is this mostly due to personal karma? Mm -hmm. Persecuted other religion, been fanatical and stuff like this. Yes or no? Or was this more you do to ancestors' karma? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know they were of a religion that got persecuted or that persecuted others. Yes or no? Or is this conflict, you know, perpetrated by spells and curses? Yes or no? Or is this conflict mainly perpetrated by vows that we did? Yes or no? Now, for some of us, there is also conflict around spirituality. You know, this religion that's more the corporate, you know, organizations that maintain, you know. And spirituality is more like a private, you know, less organized <laughs> personal experience. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, um, do you experience, you know, in a significant conflict around your own spirituality, yes or no? This is mostly due to volunteering for a lesson here, yes or no? Voices mostly due to ghostly attachments, yes or no? Or 
Or do you have personal karma that is causing this conflict? Yes or no? Or do you have ancestor karma that is causing a conflict around spirituality? Yes or no? Are there any spells and curses you know that create conflicts around your spirituality? Yes or no? vows that create conflicts, you know, around spirituality, especially when they came from different lifetimes, yes or no? And we ask the spirit guides, you know, and whoever spirit beings of love and light, even source, you know, are assisting us and are benevolent, and are approved by high self, to clear as much as possible of these attachments of these trauma, karma, samskaras as possible right now without us looking at these details right now. Amen. Amen. And again, make sure you agree it's your life. I'm not your daddy or guru. And if you're given permission, you probably should be feeling some kind of a cleansing in your force field, some uplifting, feeling lighter, up low of energy. Just keep on smiling and breathing. Mm -hmm. And you're so relaxed, you're super relaxed like you've never been. Well, um, do you have conflict around health? No, uh, maybe... You know, um, you like to eat a lot, you know, of the wrong things, and, um, but you also, you know, like to be, you know, um, like in really nice physical shape. Hmm? And, uh, is there a conflict there for you? Um, yes or no? Is this the lesson that you volunteered for before you incarnated, majorly, yes or no? And how much of this conflict around your health is due to ghostly attachments? And this could be quite a lot. Is there a significant amount? of conflict around your health due to ghostly attachments, yes or no? How about personal karma? Is this affecting your conflict around health, yes or no? And how much is ancestor karma contributing to conflicts around your health? Are conflicts around your health instigated by spells and curses onto you from the past, yes or no? And uh, conflicts around your health, you know, have they been affected a lot by vows? You know, in populations where people were starving, you know, you maybe vowed to always be nice and pudgy and fat, you know, and now the tables have changed. So, any conflicts around health issues due to vows, yes or no? Now we have all kinds of, you know, inner you know, conflicts going on, you know, with the hierarchy <laughs> of big to small. Now ask your high self, what is your biggest inner you know, conflict of them all? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's find out. You know, is this one a lesson that you volunteer to learn? Yes or no? Is this conflict mostly due to ghostly attachments? Yes or no? Is this issue mostly due to personal karma? Yes or no? Is this issue mostly due to ancestor karma? Yes or no? Is this conflict? You know, mostly due to spells and curses. Yes or no? Is this conflict mostly due to vows? Yes or no? Now, are there any major spells or curses, you know, that create inner, inner or outer conflict with you? Yes or no? So, in some lifetimes, you know, or in many lifetimes, we did, you know, conflicting vows and promises. You know? For instance, to always love Billy Bob, you know, and then in another lifetime, you know, we vow to take revenge on Billy Bob forever. You know, so then you have conflicting vows and you're wondering, well in this incarnation, you know, you have this roller coaster relationship with Billy Bob. You know, both conflicting vows or promises, you know, are yeah, <laughs> creating conflict. So, um, you know, did you make any conflicting vows and promises that are still affecting your life? And, um, you know, yes or no? And what is the most important one? And are there still any ghostly attachment, you know, that are conflicting with us and also with each other, yes or no? And we ask the Ascension teams, you know, to please, you know, bring these either to the courts of Divine Justice, if these are really, you know, dark beings that do not want to reform, but the other ones, you know, that are willing to reform and just confused or stuck or trapped, please bring them to the Arcturian of Healing and Ascension Temples and help them, you know, get them into the light through understanding, higher insight about their life as well as love and just the grace of source. Amen, amen, amen. And of course, we also ask the ancestors that have made it into the love and light to come and help them, you know, in their transition. Um, um, um. Now, are there any major personal karmic lessons, you know, that you're supposed to learn around conflicts, yes or no? And what are they? And 
let's ask, do you have major inner conflict due to contradictory environments and stimulations? You know, you may be coming from a hot country and you know, live in Alaska or stuff like this. Yes or no. You know, some people, you know, it always seems to be the wrong thing. So is this a lesson that you volunteered for? Yes or no? Is this due to ghostly attachments? You know, that have a different opinion than you. Yes or no? How about personal karma? Is that creating these contradicting environments for you? Yes or no? And how about ancestor karma? Is this um, contributing to creating contradictory environments for you? Yes or no? Uh, or were there spells and curses that you know, place you always in contradictory environments and situations, yes or no. Or maybe did you do any vows in this in past lifetimes, you need to always have these kind of experiences for some reason, yes or no. Now, it's the next question is really, are you plagued by conflicting belief systems? You know, for instance, um, you know, like uh, certain monks, you know, they are thought that poverty is a virtue, you know, keeps you humble and meek, you know, and um, you know, and it of course completely contradicts, you know, your desires and expectation, you know, to be prosperous in this lifetime. You know, yeah, what you gonna do without a car, <laughs> for instance, you know, or without a computer, you know, these kind of things. So, um, you know, do you have, um, you know, conflicting belief systems? Yes or no? And what is the most conflicting belief system within you? Do you also have major conflicts due to, um, you know, conditioning in your upbringing, you know, with conflicts, you know, it's in the vein of do as I say, not as I do, yes or no? Did you mostly volunteer for this kind of lesson, yes or no? Was this mostly due to ghostly attachments and manipulations, yes or no? Was this conflicting upbringing due to personal karma mostly, yes or no? Or was this conflicting upbringing mostly due to ancestor karma? Yes or no? Or is this conflicting upbringing due to spells and curses? Yes or no? Or maybe you did vows for this, you know, and maybe to accelerate your learning, um, yes or no. Or 
Of course, we give now our spirit guides and our high self and source permission, you know, to clear these, you know, conflicting um, conditionings, you know, or at least help us, you know, in an easy way, you know, to come to a conclusion, you know, to, uh, you know, to synergize, you know, to, you know, you have uh, thesis, synthesis, you know, you have thesis, antithesis, and to come to a synthesis, you know, um, 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 you know and to also clear, you know, any dysfunctional vows, curses, and ghosts, you know what to do. Um, um, um. And many of us, you know, uh, they carry, you know, deep guilt and conflict, you know, from past lifetimes and even in this lifetimes. You know, where the dark side uh, gave them uh, like a lose lose choice. I've come quite often across this. You know, where um, you have to choose, you know, um, who's gonna get killed and tortured now, you know, your family or your village. You know, and then of course they do it. And, um, you know, so whatever choice you make, you know, it's of course never right. You know? I mean, you know, you could have, would have, you know? and so it's gonna hurt each time. You know, so it's a, uh, you know, you cannot win in these things, and these situations, you know, are made, you know, to fill you with guilt and create, you know, conflict, you know, which screws up, you know, the consequent of following incarnations. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, <coughs> Do you still carry a lot of inner you know, conflicts from situations like this? Yes or no? Yeah, we like those aspects, those past lifetimes, you know, that had to go through this, you know, we like to have this liberated and given all the help. I saw you guys know what to do. Um, uh, uh. Now again, you know, um, is there some other conflicting programming, you know, from early childhood, you know, that leads, you know, to, to limiting yourself to conflicting with yourself, you know, that conflict with your sense of self-worth, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Now what's the worst of those limiting? conflicting programming for you. Is there also major rejection from family, school or co-workers? You know that conflicts with your inner self-worth and love? Yes or no? Well, yeah, I know we ask that this now also be cleared now as much as possible by our spirit guides, you know, that we get the lessons and all this, you know, that we put the order in. Um, um, um. So, um, now, um, you know, make sure you pay attention. And so we ask Source and our High Self and our spirit guides that assist us you know, like our space brothers and sisters of love and light, you know, also on our own incarnation and our ancestors, mm -hmm. um, to um, liberate, you know, and bring to proper ascension temples and facilities, some call them stargates, that are still stuck due to inner conflicts. Mm -hmm for some reason or another. Mm -hmm. When many traumatic deaths happens, you know, please do so now. Um, 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 of course, everything for the highest good for us mm -hmm. and our loved ones. Um, you know, of course, as you're there, also liberate any discarnates that got stuck in false light heavens. Mm -hmm. Um, um, um. 
and I'm also obey them in the unconditional love of those and reunite them with other loved ones that are also stuck on the astral planes. You know, don't, some don't want to leave without their babies or sweethearts. So reunite them all, that's very important. Um, And you can feel this in your heart chakra, you know, when they come together, it's really a lot of love many times. And then show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of the incarnation. Even what was karma, it's volunteered for to learn as a lesson, and of course what was sabotaged by the dark side. And then help them with forgiveness. And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, give forgiveness and forgive themselves, you know, clear. You know, whatever samskar, whatever trauma is there. Also we ask absolute souls to make any hidden stuff visible. You know, remove any cloaking spells and technologies, also any camouflage. You know, make visible and expose what is trickery, misdirection, or hidden agenda, or legalese fine print, you know, and have all the offenders brought to divine justice now. Um, 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 make sure you agree to that too. And then also, please clear any entanglement, you know, that still binds them, you know, to those conflicts like trauma, vows, curses, bindings, you know, any love spells and stuff like this, or technologies, you know, or just crazy spells or glamours or deals, or promises, contracts, candle magic, black magic. As well as any forms of bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, shackles, crowns of thorns, crucifixion implants, and everything else that hasn't been mentioned but needs to leave our space at this time. Um, um, um. Make sure you agree with this, you know, I mean, many times. And also please remove any hitchhiking entities that have attached to us. And return any valuable energies, you know, that got stolen, you know, or got lost due to the inner conflicts or external conflicts. You know, return those to us. Um, And now we ask the spirit guides to surround us with this super powerful aura of love and light from source on all levels of our being mm -hmm. that completely depolarizes any negative beings or any conflicts that we have. You know, it helps us find the synergy, you know, between the extremes. Um, and and one, two, three, we are fully grounded now back in vacant day consciousness unless you intended to continue sleeping. And welcome back, my friends. And I hope you had some insights and some powerful experiences. Experiences like feeling lighter, um, chi moving in your body, tingling, you know, and uh, deeper levels of love, and I would say euphoria, you know, but in a nice balanced way. And I hope you also feel more energized. Um, so um, these kind of meditations, um, you know, they're like a fast. You know, there's extra energy in the body, and um, then the body detoxes on the physical plane. So you most likely will be detoxing on the physical plane after this. So make sure you drink a lot of water and take it easy. Right? 
Um, if you're new, you know, make sure you subscribe to this if you like this type of meditation, if it resonates with you. You know, welcome to the tribe. So all the guided meditations are designed to cover different aspects, you know, of our human experience. You know, we all have parents, we all have mother issues and father issues, at least from past lifetimes. You know, we all had pets, um, we all have a high self, we all have a male high self and a female high self, and uh, we all have been slaves, and most of us, probably all of our ancestors, have been slaveholders. Right? And um, so, um, again, you know, uh, my videos are designed, you know, to cover, you know, a lot of areas where there is still karma, where there is still ignorance and darkness. So, you know, please take advantage of these free videos. And of course, if you can afford it and I want to go fast track, you know, take some personal sessions with me. It's probably going to knock your socks off. Um, I'm still very reasonable. You know, just send me an email and, and you know, also go to my website. Um, as always, I love you a long time. Keep smiling. Namaste.